Hi, and welcome to the Money Mental UK YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Andrew. I'm a part time eBay reseller and a mental health advocate. And this channel is dedicated to um, selling on eBay and um, talking about mental health. Um, so, yeah, that's the intro for those of you who are new to the channel. Um, today, I am coming at you with a live um, charity shop haul where I will show you um, what I picked up. Um, in Wolverhampton when I went there with um, Steve Green and Emma who is uh, Steve's one of Steve Green Adventures on YouTube and Emma is C she sells seashells on Instagram uh, both lovely people um, had a great time with them and managed to pick up a few items and I've been out and I've done a bit of sourcing today in um, Wrexham as well I picked up a few more items uh, nothing too spectacular but we'll do our usual trick where we um, go through the items. We do a bit of live research to see what I've picked up, uh, whether it's got any value. Um, and, yeah, we'll play a bit of guess the price. Uh, looks like we've got some people joining us. Um, Steve O's with us. Hi, Steve O. How are you? I uh, hope you're well, mate. Um, let's give it a second for other people to join us as well. Um, on a slightly Slight bit later, going late than planned. I just needed to um, catch up on my um, um, uh, Facebook stuff. Um, but yeah, looks like we've got Steve Owen. We've got Bex. Hi, Bex. How are you? We've got Ron. Uh, where did I shop? Hi, yes, lad, my dear. In, in the town centre itself, Ron. Um, hi, Paul Aran. How are you? This StreamYard chat is not as good as the youtube chat it all seems to hi richard how are you um it all seems to um sort of either come at once or drip feed through very slowly that's the um the one downside of uh Streamyard, i guess um so apologies if i miss anything in the chat it's because it just like as i say it just seems to come through in the uh, spurts um i've just got to tell lisa i'm live as well there we go. Right. Anyway, so yeah, let's get into it. I think we'll start off with the Wolverhampton pickups first. Um, and there's uh, Anne here as well. Um, so yeah, um, I picked up. Oh, it's upside down. I'm on top of things here. Um, I picked up a copy of Risk. Um, I don't normally pick up copies of Risk because they they have hundreds of pieces in them. But they reckon they checked through this one. Whether they have or not, I don't know. But it's the smaller box size version of Risk, so it goes small parcel. And it was only £2.50. Uh, worked at Faces Nightclub for three years. Demolished, yeah. Um, Steve was talking to me about that yesterday. So I think it was a Compton charity shop. Just by Hi, Carrie Ann, how are you? I think it was a um, Compton charity shop just by um just by there um that uh, is now gone as a result of demolition uh hey adrian hey catherine hope you're both well so yeah anyway picked up this risk um which is allegedly complete for two pound fifty um with it being q4 I'm hoping this is the sort of thing that, oh, well, sorry, it's not Q4 yet, but with Q4 being around the corner from now, um, literally, you know, just a couple of weeks off, um, I figured I would um, pick up some uh, board games to uh, resell and list ready for Q4. So this is the 2000 Hasbro edition. Um, what do you reckon the souls are on this? Yeah, there you go, it's a Compton Hospice. Um, what do you reckon the souls are then on that 2000, um, 2000 risk? I'll put the screen share on so we can do a bit of uh, live research. Hey, Z, how are you? Looks so like we've got both Bex and Z uh, with us. Um, so, yeah, let's play guess the price on the risk while I look it up. And I also try and remember how to put a screen share on. Um I hate the way that I press don't share these tips again on StreamYard and yet they still come up every time. It's like it just doesn't remember stuff. And again, don't show this tip again. Uh, it's coming up again. 
um so yeah the screen shares on so we have got a risk but it's 2000 vintage now i mean it's 19 years old isn't it uh risk 2000 game let's have a look you got any guesses coming in we've got 599 i wouldn't pick it up at 599 hi lisa we're playing guess the price on a 2000 copy of risk catherine's gone 30 quid i wish i doubt it'll be 30 quid um to do uh all right uh, somebody's asking 1999 for one but there was a listed values let's go to the solds do do we've got 15.99 14.99 10.99 20 years plus is vintage okay so we just we just out and we got 19.99 not quite vintage yeah apparently i'm a year out uh i'll do a highest price search because i always i'm an optimist so we've got one there 1995 but that was brand new and sealed this one isn't we've got 14.99 plus shipping nice pictures there as well with the game all laid out that's a brand new one brand new brand new pre-owned 15.75 we've got 14.50 there yeah 13.99 so i would probably say i'll list this for 13.99 hey billy b welcome yeah I could do with some pints. I might pop to um, the supermarket later. Do we know if Tommy and Tracy are later alive later? Um, Z or anyone? Because um, I, uh, yeah, I would. It would be nice to have a few drinks and watch um, somebody go live later. Um, to do uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go thirteen ninety nine on that one. But you know, it has gone for slightly higher. 14.50 there in august but the box i've got isn't the greatest so i think 13.99 is a fair price and uh, we'll just add that to our spreadsheet risk 250 13.99 so yeah hopefully that'll go quickly with it coming up to q4 hi chris how are you um so I'll just take the screen share off for a second so you can all see my lovely face um uh, next again continuing that sort of board game jigsaw yeah I, I definitely hope they are see um otherwise i might do a listing live and hang out myself later um next i got this for a pound again classic q4 item jigsaw puzzle new and sealed uh, at a pound i'm not going to leave it behind i can't imagine there's much money in this to be honest but um i thought for a quid and again as i say with it being q4 i want to get a load of stuff listed the kind of stuff that goes well in q4 toys board games jigsaws etc but we'll have a look here oh there's eminem hey eminem how are you so i go on to the screen chair don't forget guess the price double-sided in possible puzzle Uh, would be good if I could type it in right. Oh, I've spelt it completely right. I cannot type. We've got eight pound. We've got ten pound. We've got ten. Anyone going to go higher than ten? I should do a live auction show. That'd be fun. Um, Impossible puzzle. I really need to learn how to spell. Uh, ooh, well, that's surprising definitely giftable stuff for it and 10 pound we've all got well gone around 10 yeah it's sealed and the very one that i've got 14.99 plus shipping again 14.99 plus shipping 14.99 free postage that's about 14.95 there so yeah from a quid looks like not a bad pickup um i'll probably go i'll go 15.99 on that and again, that'll go small parcel Royal Mail. So 290 to ship. I always do free shipping. Um, 
so yeah pleasantly surprised by the uh, values on that um yeah m&m went 49 and 15 pound i'm not sure if that was before or after i said it but yeah that's all right ready for a jigsaw um what have we got next uh next we have this let me just uh take the screen share off sorry folks Ah, oh, stupid stream yard, stupid me. Um, right, then I got, because I'm a big time clothing seller now. Hey Dave, how are you? Ooh, I've got a message on eBay. Um, do, do, do. I've got a very rude message from the buyer, from a buyer. I'll ignore that for the time being. Um, this is a Lan Royal Edinburgh woolen jumper. Uh, I think it says Lan Royal. I've never heard of them. But it was a quid. It's, um, I think it's, um, I'll just see if I can. And it's pure uh, lamb's wool. So I figured for a pound, we'll take a punt. So what do you reckon on that, folks? Nice vintage jumper there, pure lamb's wool for a pound. So we got about ten pound. We got twelve ninety nine. Um, is it Lan or is it Ian or is it Clan? Do you know? I really should. Uh, it could be Clan Royal actually. Um, looking at it, does it does it actually put it in like without a fancy logo? No, it doesn't. So we got eleven ninety nine, twelve ninety nine plus post. Hey Stu. Nine ninety nine, nine pounds. Um, let's let's have a look. I'll try Clan Royal. Have I got the uh, screen share on? Um, uh, to do. There's only two results there. Um, in the souls that's on auction which is gone it's obviously not the same jumper but that's gone for 370 plus 390 it says read the description so i just wondered if there's some issues with it as well um so we'll look yeah some issues with that that's been repaired this one's in perfect condition so nothing listed really uh, so uh, sold sorry uh let's just have a look uh on the list whoa 72 quid there plus shipping in australia uh 54 pound 80. uh okay so some of those prices are a bit crazy um i'm certainly not expecting anything like that that's one like i've got there 14.99 plus shipping uh brand new list in there yeah so i'll, I'll probably go for 14.99 on it and see where we end up hey chris <laughs> just looking at that Breens and Sprout jigsaw would just make you fart, says uh, BCP there. Um, thanks for that, BCP. It probably would. I was wondering what the green things were. How bad is that? I know there's sprouts now. Um, yeah, okay. 
so yeah i think i'll shoot for 14.99 on that um jumper and uh see where we end up so yeah from a pound hopefully that should be uh, okay this was all snatched under steve green's nose of course don't forget folks um because he was with me at the time while we were sourcing um right next item uh, again this was a pound from the same charity shop um it is a shirt i picked it up because it's got quite a nice bit of detail in it uh i don't know we've got like nice little buttons there we've got what appears to be like a vintage car at the bottom and oh hang on i, I hate how this camera is it is indeed a shirt yeah and um, and some paisleys and stuff and it's um from a brand called dario beltram um Oh, again uh, i hate this how oh, this camera seems to like go the opposite way to what i want but yeah dario beltran is the bland brand again it was a quid so for a quid i thought i'd go for it it's got this vintage car on the um thing there again so uh yeah what do we reckon folks dario beltran shirt i'm just trying to see if i can see the size on it 16 and a half oh, that's my set size so yeah take your guess folks one pound into remember I, I don't often tend to do research myself when i'm picking stuff up i just go with what looks good um so it could be a dud we've got 8.99 from adrian 13 from thailand heron hi thailand heron we've got 9.99 from john um let's just get the screen share up uh to do yeah, oh, 50 quid brand new for one there. Um, let's just go on solds. Do do and yeah, 50 quid there. Um, I'll just put used on the condition. So yeah, that's more realistic prices there. We got 14 quid there for one, 9.99 plus shipping there. Again, 9.99 plus shipping. That's one like I've got um yeah that's um seems to be similar to what i've got it's gone for 12 quid free returns there as well which i don't do um let's just see if we can fetch up that listing uh, oh the multi-quantity as well um yeah that seems to be the same shirt as i've got um so yeah they've got 12 quid for one um slightly smaller size i think than i've got so i think 12.99 is fair so thailand heron and richard payne i think you get the mentalist points there so yeah from a quid 12.99 we're not doing too badly here i've spent what so far we've done 250 350 450 50 and we've got 30 40 50 55 quids worth of listed value so that's all right. Hey, Jason. Do you find much single stitching T-shirts? I don't. I don't um, really touch T-shirts, to be honest. Um, do, do, do. Let's see what we got next. See if there's anything else in that bag. Uh, that bag is empty. Oh. Where's our next bag? uh just gotta make sure this is isn't a Wrexham pickup yeah that's something i got in Wrexham we'll go to Wolverhampton stuff first um we have here um a coat it's made by uh i can't get this camera right at all it's made by uh oh this is so annoying 
I'm, I'm, being, I'm being choked by a coat. Um, how do, where's the thing there? It's made by Berghaus. Um, I think that's how you say it anyway. It's a nice hooded coat. It's got a broken nose, hidden hook, uh, hoods and everything. Size medium, £3.75. Sort of waterproof thing that was. Um, again, snatched from under Steve's nose because he was the other side of the charity shop. Um, so, yeah, needs a bit of a breeze on it, but 375 Berghaus uh, jacket. What do we reckon on that, folks? Berghaus is a decent brand. Um, twenty four ninety nine, twenty two. I'm I'm clueless. Um, twenty seven ninety nine, twenty nine ninety nine. I just uh, Berghaus jacket medium. I've no clue. So um, I just knew it was a brand to go for. Uh, which seems to be quite popular on the bids as well. Um, right, sold listings. Recent first. Yeah, I don't think it's that one. We'll just filter on black colour as well. Hey, Ian. We're playing Guess the Price. I'm currently doing it on a Berghaus jacket. How do I know what type of jacket it is? Because that says it's a tornado and it's gone for 40 quid. I wonder if it says on the label. Let's have a look. No, it doesn't say what type of jacket it is. Um, to do it does have plenty of evidence, a decent one. Um, let's have a look. That looks like the one I've got, which has gone for 25 quid on biz. I'm just going to put buy it now on. Oh, buy it now. And have I got used on? There we go. Oh, 69. 69 listings sold. Um, right. I'm not sure it's that aerofoil one. Uh, it's definitely not a fleece. I don't know if it's that. Uh, windbreaker, 27.95. 29.99 for one there. Looks a bit like it. That's gone for 34.99. Don't know if it's the AQ2 or not. Twenty nine ninety nine. Well, that's gone on offer. I'll probably go for twenty nine ninety nine on it, but I might do a bit more research into it to see um, if I can figure out what model it is. Because they seem to be, I could be going for thirty quid, or it could be going for, you know, forty quid like that, um, depending upon what model it is. But either way, from three seventy five, I'm happy. Just put that in the screen in the thing 29.99 double check no left okay so yeah from 375 hopefully at least 30 so a little pick up there uh what have we got next oh next is a fred perry jacket just a lightweight sort of uh, jacket there. Um, cost three ninety nine. Uh, yeah, three ninety nine. That was. The uh, do. Looks like it's at least a waterproof or a water resistant one. Um, yeah. Just checking the labels. Yeah, genuine one as well. Um, no HUD. So, what do you reckon on that, folks? Fred Perry, lightweight jacket, no HUD. Let's guess the price. Um, 
Um, that's not the same one. Oh, hang on, I better give you a chance to put guesses in before I start looking at the solds. Um, I'll go on the screen share. Uh, I want to um, to take a guess at the price. Feel free. Now the screen's not freezing here, and it's just um, on the uh, screen share. So we've got 19.99 from Bex, 24.99, 14.99. Oh, it's all coming through at once. 40 quid. The do the chat jumped. There we go. I've always wanted to say that. Um, see that? Oh, that's got a hood on it though. Oh, it's hard work researching these things. Have I got used on? I should have used on. No, I haven't. Used. To do. There's loads here. Uh, can I see anything? Uh, so that's a Harrington. Prices are all over the shop. Definitely worth looking up these. Fred Perry things. If I've got 103 listings. Why can't I get onto page two? Because that's not 103 there. That's definitely not 103 listings that's showing. Uh, that one's only gone for £9.50 there. So I don't know. I must have some issues with it there. That's a, just a classic. I'm not really seeing anything like it. Um, Maybe if I just take out the lightweight and just put jacket. Um, and then I just um, can revive. Oh, this, why, why? There's blue. Let's uh, have a look. Uh, that's kind of it. 24. Oh, that's brand new out tags. Uh, I'm going to have to look into this a bit more, folks. I don't think it's going to come up. Um, too many different um, types of Fred Perry jacket here. That's a bit like it, but not too much. And again, it's not. it says there's 235 listings, but it's not letting me um, go on to... Oh, it's down there. That's why. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Well, if I message you, Kelly, I'd have to message everyone. I dropped a message in the admin chat um, to say I was live, Kelly Ann, to be fair. So I've got to read your chat. Uh, do, do, do. It's all Harrington jackets. I, I really need to learn the types of jacket. I think that's a bit like it. 20 quid. So, yeah, we'll say... We'll probably go for 24.99 on that one and then hope for about 20 quid on it right to do ned's palette allotment hello good thank you um right so we got that and then i think this might be too big to go Royal Mail small parcel. So I might even just sell this on Facebook, but I've sold these a lot before, but this is a big package. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe it just a big package live on eBay. Uh, this is a Philips Ultra Fill Health Lamp. It's for people who've got SAD, SAD basically. So it's ideal product for this time of year with the uh, winter coming along just a heat lamp um or health lamp or whatever you call it but yeah i think the dimensions mean it might go um medium parcel rather than small parcel so i might try it on facebook first but what do you reckon this is worth this is uh, 3.99 i paid for it what do you reckon folks vintage phillips ultra fill health lamp Let's take a right. Let's take a guess. Idiot with a big pat. It's quite right. Uh, 
let's see if I can get. Uh, yeah, fully working. Yeah, get a screen share on. VV reckons twenty nine ninety nine. Richard reckons nineteen ninety nine. Uh, Annie reckons thirty thirty five. Adrian reckons twenty five ninety nine. And uh, Doreen Cure reckons five quid. Definitely not five quid. Um, so there's one here. Um, which is not the same model as I've got. That's a smaller model that's gone for... Oh, hang on, have I spelled it wrong? Well, oh, hang on, how have you got... Ah, oh, stupid. Tell you what, right, I'm just going to go Phillips Half Lamp. Uh, let's see what we get. That's not the same one I've got. And then we've got all sorts going on here, right? Let's just go back to that one that was there before because it was the same model that was unboxed. Um, this is the one I've got, but I've got it obviously with the box. Um, so that's gone for 24 dollars Twenty four ninety nine plus shipping, uh, unboxed. It's sold on an office, so it's obviously not gone for the full thirty quid that they're asking. But could be um, could be about twenty four ninety nine. I think twenty to twenty four ninety nine. I would say. Is there an HP number? I don't know what an HP number is to be honest. Um, it's got like a product number and all sorts going on it to do we can take fade okay um so yeah i'll probably go for 24.99 on that or i might just whack it on facebook for 20 quid and see what happens uh, i'll try 24.99 um chicken is all right from 3.99 on the box or the lamp somewhere probably is yeah um i'll have to have a look into that afterwards uh, richard i think um right come back off the screen share um, next again another q4 pickup bullseye dvd should have a bullseye bendy bully inside uh oh, there we go the UPN, it, it, it don't matter about the numbers for now. I'm, I'm, I'm not listing it at the minute. Um, so yeah, Bullseye, um, this was 199 I literally sold one of these the other day for a tenner. Um, although that one cost me a pound. Um, oh, hang on, I should have done guess the price, shouldn't I? Guess the price on this. Um, a Bullseye with Bendy Bully. What do we reckon, folks? Eight ninety nine. Yeah, guess the price on the uh, Bullseye DVD game. <sighs> to do. Uh, sold listings. That's the interactive one. So um, let's just go toys and games on categories. Ten pound and a penny. Ten pound nine ninety nine. Seven ninety ten. Yeah, I said no. I said I sold one for a tenner. Uh, Two ninety nine plus three pound. That's not the one with the same one with the bendy bully. Bendy but bendy bully. Can't even speak. God knows how somebody's got thirty four ninety nine for one there. That is insane. Have I undersold this? Oh, they got a tankard there. That's brand new. 25 quid. Um, can't even see my listing that I've sold, which is slightly unusual. Uh, yeah, my listing isn't there. Um, weird. Yeah. Tenor. That's not my listing, but that's what it goes for. 
so for 199 there's a little bit of profit uh in it and yeah i thought again i might be able to put an extra couple of quid on it um for q4 so i'll probably list it for 12.99 and uh hopefully achieve somewhere close to that uh, but yeah I, I sold it for i say a 10 i sold it for 9.99 but i don't know why it's not showing on the solds there um so yeah we'll be brave and we'll go for 12.99 on that one so well done everyone who said a tenner because that was pretty much exactly what i said great smash wonderful that we learn quite right adrian quite right my scat no it's not nearby at the minute the knees charging up as well um because it's a portable one uh right where's my next bag there it is yep so next That's what I can get for it. Yeah, I guess the price is uh, always sold on eBay. That's what we're looking at there. Again, a bit of a smell to these, so I'll probably give them a wash. Some um, genuine. Both me and Steve checked these, and we were convinced they're genuine. Uh, Fazachi men's jeans. Cost £3.50. Um from the same place as i got the burke house from um 34 waist no idea on leg length because why would they give you anything useful like that it's got all the um markings on the buttons etc um the little studs there are all properly versace marked ones obviously got all the labels inside which is tightly stitched um it's got the probably italian label in there for they're not the most modern newest ones they're a bit they're edging towards vintage but they're still in a uh, good condition yeah definitely a charity shop smell so what do you reckon versace men's jeans 34 let's play guess the price sniffing old jeans one of the reasons why i don't sell clothes um yeah uh oh hang on have i got there there's the um screen share on um so we've got 29.99 25 pounds 29.99 as the guess is there um so actually jeans 34 men's clothing please right i don't know why it's doing that i'll go jeans whoa they must be new um i can't imagine these being worth 130 quid used whoa wowza okay so uh we've got 70 quid there um for just a flat lay that actually looks like um the kitchen floor that i photograph um on jeans on as well um we've got 50 odd quid on bids there um the only annoying thing on these is that um the um Versace at the back i've just noticed i've got the screen share i've just noticed that which is probably why they've been given in the um because i can see the imprint of it the label from the back has come off so that's annoying i didn't notice that so that will affect the value two pound for the jeans and 30 quid for the label the breeze freezer job um so yeah that's uh unfortunate so we'll probably aim for about uh, yeah these are well going down some really strange prices but yeah with that damage 
I'll probably just put them on for twenty four ninety nine, and um, mention that in the description. So yeah, that's annoying. That's probably why they're only three pound fifty rather than a lot more money. But yeah, there you go. Still a genuine pair of his Archie jeans for three pound fifty, so they'll still sell for some uh, tidy profit. Um, and then next, are you impressed by the amount of clothes I've got? Next, I picked up uh, a blazer. I've got a charity shop as well. The Wolverhampton charity shop stink. Um, you don't get this in Wrexham. Paid four ninety nine for this blazer. Um, I picked it up because it's um, it's a vintage one, um, but it's wool, cashmere, and silk. So I figure that's got to be uh, that's got to be um, worth a few quid. Uh, Sarah Premium is the brand. Never heard of them. Um, size forty L. Actually, it's got a vintage look to it, but I'm not sure if it is vintage. Uh, but yeah, it's Italian wool colours, cashmere and silk. So you're impressed I'm wearing clothes. Yeah, doing all right with the clothing at the minute. I've had a few good clothing sales of late, so I'm um, I'm becoming a big time clothing seller. Um, so yeah, what do you reckon on this blazer then? Zara, uh, premium or S A R A R. Um, wool cashmere and silk so decent materials um nice i think that's quite a fashionable one as well to be fair show the label which label that's the brand and uh that's the contents there um yeah i mean i know nothing about clothes i'm just going off instinct um so yeah, Adrian Retton's 35 quid. We'll get that. We'll get the screen shared up. We'll do our live research. Um Sarah Blazer. Can't imagine there's been a lot of these. So two. Um but they're not as they're just as P and wool, but they're both on bids. And not as nice as mine. Um, so I'm definitely not doing that. I'll just see if there's any listed. Only five listed. That's a suit. Um, somebody's got that's a ladies. It's a core jacket. Yeah, so uh, internationally, 122 quid, but that's merino wool. Oh, yeah, let's have a look at the internationals. Yeah, again, they're not... Um, 32 quid, that's one there. Half price was 40 quid. They brought that down to 20. So I'll probably go with... Um, Hi, Diana, 39.99. I'll probably go, I think for 34.99 um on that and uh yeah see where we end up because i think the uh the you know the, the wool cashmere uh silk blend will help that sell i think hey sure so, yeah apologies sean I, I checked through me um my list of block people and i saw it saw you're on it um I, I i have no idea why sean i got obviously a mistake um so yeah obviously i removed you from that um quite interesting to see some of the names on there but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna go um 34.99 on that and see where we end up um to do right what have we got next next I picked it up because it was only 50p. Um, I can't remember. it. There's some of these that go for a few quid. I don't know if this is one of them. But Skylanders Giants on Nintendo Wii. Um, just a game, obviously. No portal or characters. Um, uh, this is all right. 
So what do we reckon? Skylanders Giants. We've got two ninety nine there. I'm hoping it's more than two ninety nine. To do one ninety nine probably is, but we'll have a look. Skylanders. I think I've sold Skylanders games before. Um, as well. Video games. Three ninety nine from uh, Yes Lab Media. Three ninety nine from Richard. I'm edging towards three ninety nine. That would be my guess as well. Uh, I'm not on sold listings. Um, right. Totally clear. Uh, that's about about games. Well, 149 on disc only, so that's okay. Um, these prices are less okay, but people always underprice this stuff. To do 295, we're getting there. 299. You, it's looking dodgy. How much postage are you charging on that? Three pound fifty for two games. Unbelievable. Goes large letter. Three pound twenty plus one fifty postage on bids. Uh, do yeah, it looks like I might have to bundle it with another copy. Two ninety nine is probably spot on. I think. Uh, did we have one? Yeah, those are all we you. Yeah, so if I bundle it with Spyro's Adventure, get a bit more money. So I might bundle it. I've got a copy of Spyro's Adventure. Um, currently listed, so I might just chuck this in with that. Um, or do it as disc only for one ninety nine and keep the case. Um, to do so, yeah. Let's go back. We said two ninety nine, didn't we? Yeah, two ninety. No, no, that's disc only. Uh, for two ninety nine as well. So you see, disc only in the listing, but they've actually got a picture of the game. So that's confusing. Let's have a look at that. Um. Yeah, disc only, but you've got a picture of the game. That's I'd be confused by that if I was buying that. Um, the the do Sean now. Um, large letters and small parcels. Um, if you're doing through um click and drop Royal Mail, click and drop via eBay, via PayPal, or via click, click and drop themselves, they have a two D barcode on. Um, which um gives delivery confirmation so the postie scans it when it gets delivered basically um and if you do it for ebay as well um it'll automatically add that um tracking number from the 2d barcode into the uh into the um uh, dispatch tracking number details as well so so yeah i i have no problem with doing that at all um, I've only ever had one not received. Well, I've had a few people claim they haven't received stuff. Um, I've used the um, the tracking that, that's there, and it's confirmed that it's been there, and the case has been shut down by being delivered and shut down by eBay. Only once did it did I have um, a not delivery, and I tweeted Royal Mail to say, "Has this item been delivered?" And they said, "Oh, we've, we've not got a delivery confirmation for that." So I was happy to except the fact that that had been um, lost in the post. Yeah, I'll have a look at CX trading price as well. Um, in fact, oh, it's not for resale, so CEX may not take it, to be honest. Um, we'll have a look, but I think it might be on the... Um, it might be that CEX won't take it unless it's in the, um, you know, the starter pack. Um, I ran out of stuff to list. That's impossible. Um, yeah, I still take me stuff to the Royal Mail, um, Sean, and, and post it there to get the proof of postage from him. 
Um, because if I need to make a claim, if you know Royal Mail don't deliver it for any reason, uh, it goes missing. Then they still insist on having the proof of postage itself. Um, their 2D backing, 2D uh, barcode isn't sufficient for that. Unfortunately, you still need a proof of postage. But yeah, um, yeah, I think I think CEX only do the. Um, I don't even know what website it is. I give up on website internet. Um, right. And then next. I think this is my final item from Wolverhampton. Um, who do you recommend for over 2G Castle? Castle. Um, still, well, it, 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 I normally use UPS, to be honest, um, Sean. Um they cost a bit more but they've got a careful handling policy and obviously they cover up to 50 quid um i very rarely list stuff that's over two kilograms uh though to be honest and if i do it's it's stuff that you know is going to sell for a decent amount of money um so i don't mind paying extra for pa for package for postage um so yeah it, it would be ups for me normally um on the over two kg stuff uh, got these Pimpernel, just like me, the Scarlet Pimpernel. Hey, Rebecca, rescuing and adopting many unwanted stickers. Fair enough. Um, are, are they for sale? There is Pimpernel um, um, placemats, four of them, £3.99. They cost. Um, they're in good condition. You know, the box is a bit one but these are sort of fruit design i think there's money in them um but we'll have a look Let's have a look on eBay. What do you reckon? Hey, upside down picker. Just found a vintage Halley Hansen feast I had since I was 18 years old. Still got it. Put it on eBay, 100 quid. So Richard reckons 17.99 for these. Yes, yeah, so we've got the upside down picker with us now. All the way from Australia, I believe. Um, actually, the username is probably a big queue for that. But yeah, hi, Sally. Um, it is Sally, isn't it? I think it's Sally. Um, hi, Nia. How are you? We haven't reached the Wrexham pickups yet, Nia, so you're just in time for those. We're still on Wolverhampton at the minute. Uh, Adrian reckons $14.99. Um, let's have a look. Pimpernel placemats. To do. We'll go on solds. I imagine there's probably going to be loads from abroad on these because these are um so I'm just gonna put it to UK only. So these are quite popular abroad. Um and I'll get the screen share on to do you seek them there, the seek them there, there's French is seeking there, where is he in heaven? Is he in hell? I'll just go off the screen. That damned elusive Andrew Nolan, quite right, the scarlet pimpernel. We've got 36 people watching. Thanks for watching, everyone. Oh, USA, okay. I get you. Fair enough. I don't know. For some reason, I thought it was um, Australia. I thought I'd got three continents in the chat then. Um, right. Pimpernel face match. Let's have a look. Let's get the screen share on. To do. 27 oh those are new brand new to do 
Oh, it's Pimpernel, the same brand as oh, what's that other one that does um that I always pick up that does I can't remember the name of it now. It's another brand that does um coasters and placemats that I pick up. I'm not seeing the same ones as I've got at all here. At three ninety nine, you've you've undersold that, mate. Um these are all unboxed that are going here. See, that's 20 quid, but they're unboxed. Um, I've got the box, which adds to the value. That's 24 quid with the box, but that's a set of six coasters that's not table mats. Um, yeah, they're coasters. Maybe if I put table mats. Let's just try that. Oh, that don't even work. Yeah. Well, I'll probably go for 19.99 on these then. Charity shop in town had lots of M&M sweet dispensers, but not worth much on eBay. No. But their value does increase towards Christmas. Oh, I've had a sale. Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, still listing lots of yarns. Fair enough. Yeah, so I'm probably going to go 19.99 on those and and see where they end up. Uh, that's 3.99. Right, so that's the end of the Wolverhampton pickups. Um, so people reckon if we do the screen share that I can get this to total. The, um, the spreadsheets are total. So in Wolverhampton, I spent that much. Where's the total then? Well, close find. Get rid of that. Sum equals 82.5. That's not right. I haven't spent that much. Oh, I've put the wrong prices. I've put, why is it done that? Right, so I did them all up. Stop that. Go back to it. Right. I've put the wrong price in the wrong column. That's right. $24.99. Right. Start again. So that all comes to £31.70 that I've spent. Um I don't know if that's right or not. I don't feel like it, but £31.70 that I spent for a listed value of 230 quid. So that's not too bad. Obviously, um, I probably won't achieve that 230 quid, but I probably should get close to 200 quid there. Take off your shipping and fees, hopefully over 100 quid profit for me. So certainly paid for me, uh, me trip to Volvo with that. Hi, Sam. How are you? Um, yeah, some, some okay finds, some Versace jeans that turned out to be damaged, uh, which is disappointing, a couple of blazers and whatever, but uh, yeah, we'll go for the Rex and pickups next. Um, oh, actually, no, there is, I'm sure there's another bag of stuff I got in Wolvo. There's one more bag from Wolverhampton. Hang on a second, folks. Hang on a second. Oh! Oh, carnage has ensued. Oh, dear. Um, let me see if I can find this other bag, folks. Bear with me a minute.
Oh, that is annoying. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Well, there it is. Right, found it. Woo! Quick, let's cause mayhem. Good mate, trying to find a different way to scale my business more. Don't really go to my charity shops more. There's more than 50%. We need to start picking up clothing like me, Sam. Be a big time clothing reseller like me. That's the secret. Right. Next item. Still in Wolvo, folks. £1.49. Command and Conquer. The first decade. Nice media pickup uh, on PC. Fully complete. Good condition. Um got the game disc the manuals etc what do you reckon folks what do we reckon that sells for to do yes it was right next to me yeah it'd be a big time clothing reseller like me sam but no sourcing clothes in maxim um so yeah, Grand Conquer first decade, six ninety nine, eight pounds. It's got to be more than that. Um, let's get the screen share on. Fifteen, um, six ninety nine. This is going to go small parcel as well because of the size of it. Do so. Here we go. And there it is. Thirteen ninety nine, twelve ninety five, um, about twelve pound forty nine on bids, twelve fifty, eight ninety nine for posted. Yeah, so I'm going to list it for twelve ninety nine, I think, as it is complete. It looks just like that one, um, which is a really nice picture. I might try and replicate that picture. Um, so yeah, we'll add that in. Decade, £1.49, 12 99 To do. This is all on your patch, Richard, actually, I should say. I met up with Steve and a young lady yesterday. Um, oh, did I have that on the screen share? Sorry, folks, if I didn't. There it is. We've got 13 there, but that seems to have a poster with it. Um, that's 12.95, which is the same version that I've got, which is slightly different to that one. <coughs> so I'm going off that one. Um, very good success buying. Uh, sorry, I just take the screen share off. Why is it not? All right, there we go. Uh, very good. I'm flipping in for 20 to 60 euro profit. Nice one, Sam. Right. Serious question with the big cut piece of games, no matter about age or what. Uh, it very much does, Stu. But perhaps not for the reason that you was, you, you're thinking of. Anything, I think, maybe after 2009, 2010. But pretty much any PC game you buy now, new in the shops, is single use. It can only be used by... Um, the person who bought it basically um they all have a code that you have to put in online via a, an online application it's apparently to prevent privacy but i just it's killed the pc games market to be honest um and what it means is that a lot of the games you see second hand in the charity shops and whatever are as much use as a coaster because they're only single use so with the with, with pc games you want to be picking up the older stuff before that uh internet single use stuff came in so you've always got to check the back of the box if it says internet connection required don't buy it if it has a steam logo and it says steam on it don't buy it if it says it requires an ea um thingy account don't buy it uh basically this came in this box this set was released when EA had that single use stuff, but this wasn't single use, fortunately. But 
people won't be able to i don't think people will be able to online game on this if it's been online gamed with before um which is why it's not it it, it should be a 20 quid set really um but because you can only use it for single player it's not worth as much um as it would have been otherwise so the older command and conquer games um if they're the, the original boxed ones can go for really good money um but yeah these have restrictions on them now so something like that so, well, well we'll go sourcing soon uh richard um hopefully uh towards the end of this month if we can arrange it and you can have your own back um and yeah just back into the back back into the bag um one more item from Volvo. Um, hey, DBG. Uh, one more item from Steve's Patch. Um, Sheffield Mint. Um, fine English Pewter tank card. To be honest, I probably paid too much for this. It cost me four ninety nine, but it's never been used. It's you know in 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 absolutely immaculate condition. Um, so I thought I'd take a punt on that, but and Steve said he had one. I don't know whether he meant he'd sold one or not. Um, but yeah, picked that up for four ninety nine. I've no idea. This could just be worth a fiver. But let's play guess the price, folks. Sheffield Mint Fine English Pewter Tankard. Um, I'm just seeing if there's a year on it. There isn't, but it's got lots of stuff about how it's been certified by the chairman of Monic Works. Well, that's all I do first week in October if it's easier, Richard, to be honest. Um, I've actually got a week off the um, first week in October. Um, right, what do you reckon then? Sheffield Mint, Pewter Tankard, guess the price. So we've got £10, we've got £12.99. It needs to be 15 quid or more, really, for me to justify having spent my time on it. Um, to do. Uh, we'll get the screen share on anyway. £10, 11.99. No, I'm not carpeting tomorrow, uh, m and I'm, um, I'm on a, technically on a sourcing ban. Um, but uh, I have broken that ban. Oh, here we go. No, it's a Jack Daniels one. That's the one I've got. Uh, Nineteen ninety nine plus postage, but that's got an offer. Fifteen pound, fifteen pound plus postage, but that's brand new and engraved. Fifteen pound plus postage. Hmm. And yeah, that's four ninety nine plus postage, but on bids. See, so brand new in box, but that box has obviously been opened and is knackered. Um. Let's just have a look. I, was, I probably shouldn't embarrass other people's listings like this, but that can't be brand new in box, that. Yeah, that's not brand new in box, that. That box has been opened. Um, well, yeah, I, I know it is outside of the box. Um, so I wouldn't describe this as brand new in box. I would describe this as pre-owned, even though the tank card hasn't been used itself. Um it's come out of the box. It's been opened. The box has got wear. Yeah, so it's looking like I'll probably list it for nineteen ninety nine, like that dude has, but I'll accept offers. You know, he may have got or she may have got twenty quid for it. So a ten pound tank card. It's going for nineteen ninety nine. I'm gonna I'm, and I'm gonna um, take some really good pictures and see if I can push the uh, market on it. You know, somebody might want it for Christmas. But yeah, I think that's probably not the the best buy ever there. Right, so that's the end of the Wolverhampton pickups. Um, over 250 quid worth of listed value there, so I'm well happy. Um, from a 35 quid spend. First week not so good. All right, we'll sort something out for then, then Richard. We'll uh, go around um, Bridge North and whatever else in Shropshire. Right, so... Wrexham. Did the do this is today? Clothing again, because I'm the big time clothing seller. I picked up this um, it's worth the money to travel a big city like Dublin. 
I think the issue you got, or I find, with the big cities though, is the charity shops price up in there, so they're not. I I've, you know, got some good stuff there in Wolverhampton, but I, I know if I go sourcing in Birmingham, for example, it's just too expensive. I went to Glasgow; it was too expensive. We didn't pick anything up in there. Um, London, again, same. Um, you're better off with smaller uh, towns and, and and cities and wherever where the, the rates that they're paying and stuff uh, uh, and the rent they're paying isn't so high, so they're not trying to squeeze every pound out of you. Um, and where people have got less income to spend as well, to be fair. Um, so yeah, this is a Jeff Banks, um, forty six regular uh, linen uh, jacket. Um, I think it's all linen anyway. Part of the Debenhams, yeah, hundred percent linen. Actually made by Jeff Banks for Debenhams. Checking that label, but yeah, cost three quid. Not been around the Rexham shops in a while, but going to Chester. Uh, yeah. Chester's okay. Um, some of the, the charity shops can be a bit pricey, but I've had some okay stuff in there. Um, so, yeah, three quid. Let's guess the price on a Jeff Banks linen blazer. I'll get the screen share on. Whoa. Full screen. So, you guess the price, folks. If you want clothes, there used to be a massive charity shop in Telford in a warehouse. No idea, but it's still there. Been a few years. Do you know the name of it at all, Richard? Could be worth a look. Buying old vintage clothes and selling them. Yeah, vintage goes for a lot. Um, we have a vintage wholesaler that does pre-love by kilo events now. Um, but I don't know if they're in Ireland or not. Um, right, so Jeff Banks linen shirt. Have we had any guesses? 24 quid, 20 that's promising we've got some promising guesses in there anyway so um jeff banks linen blazer men's oh, i've got a waistcoat with it that's the same size as mine it's a different color but yeah 25 quid i think probably is more realistic um, not a huge amount, but yeah, I'll go for twenty four ninety nine and be happy with that. The antique shops and chat, yeah, very expensive. Um, uh, uh, places there in Chester, Jeff Banks linen blazer. If anyone ever does come up to Chester though, fancies a meet up, always happy. Um, right, so I'll take the uh, screen share off do bring me back so yeah three quid into 24.99 um to do next we have one of my favorite brands some rohan trousers these were 3.95 uh, rohan um got the nice waterproof pockets and everything in there um I need to research what model they are. Oh, travel linen trousers. There we go. So, yeah, actually, these go with the suit. So, uh, some Rohan linen trousers there for three ninety five. Let's play guess the price, folks. While I uh, bring up the screen share. It's just not because of the one pot. Shropshire Arms is gone now, Kerry Am. It's been blown up by terrorists. Um. Unfortunately, yeah, the, the, the Chester Freedom Fighters blew it up, uh, sadly. Uh, so, Rohan Travel Linen Trousers. What do you reckon, folks? Some good antique centres. I went to the Acorn Antiques the other week. Um, that was one near. That was um, full of stuff, that was. It was crazy. Uh, I once considered going into antiques and having a... Um, uh, a um cabinet at um Brinny Gog, but then I realized that I know nothing, I know less about antiques than I do about clothes. Uh, so Rohan, uh, travel linen trousers. I saw a few guesses there in the chat. 
you do. About 34, 25. That's my home when I go to Chester, don't you mean? Um, so there we go. Yeah, same as me. 24.99 plus four pound postage. So I'll start 28.99. Literally the same size as I've got as well. So yeah. Um, the rest of these have gone on bids. So I'll probably go with 27.99. probably getting into the run time of year to list them to be honest so i'll get them up i'll get them up quick and uh, what did we have in the chat 34 and 25 so richard probably the closest there but yeah for 395 you know you, you, you can't complain really um can't complain about that uh right next Uh, this cost four quid and again sticking with the linen theme I think all the charity shops are basically just full of linen at the minute so this marks and spence says collar collar's one or collar's own collar's the own i guess uh blazer pure linen um italian fabric by nova fides apparently um picked this up I'm, I'm not too sure about the color on it to be honest but it was four quid um so i thought why not but yeah i know steve green sells a lot of the uh colors one uh or colors you own or whatever it is blazers so he was you know he swears by him so i thought i'll pick one up so your fault steve Let's uh, let's guess the price on. The, oh, I don't like it about me facing the corner. There we go. Let's guess the price on the uh, Colazoni, Colazione blazer. Um. 20 quid yeah it's the same brand so he struggles to pronounce we got 20 quid from richard is anyone else going to be brave and put a guess in and um, while you're guessing that i'll actually type linen into um ebay still only richard with 20 quid uh double car of 18.99 it, whoa oh that's a silk that's brand new and in a big size well, let me just get used on whoa okay that's more like it 24.99 plus postage 25 quid 25 yeah we're probably looking about that we're probably looking about 24.99 for that so thailand heron probably the closest there with 24 quid followed by stew stew manji vv has changed the answer to 25 from 40 but yeah um we're gonna go with um blazer we're gonna go with 24.99 for that So yeah, well worth having a look at these blazers. Actually, no, don't look at blazers. You'll be competing with me. Don't need more competition. Um, I had another one, which is here. Um, this I paid a bit more for. It's five ninety nine, but it is a bigger size, and this is a Mourinho. Uh, so this is Marks and Spencer's Italian. So it's not the colours only, um, but it's extra fine merino wool, which I believe is, again, something to look out for. So that was 5 99 and that's a 46 long, um, which is not a bad size, really, for a blazer. I think I'm a 44 long from memory. Um, so, yeah, guess the price. Merino, um, Mark Suspense's Italian blazer. Uh, 
I'm going to wait for the chat to catch up. I'll just type in them um, to the eBay. Marks and Spencer's Italian Merino Blazer. Wait for that to load up. No guesses so far. Have you all gone quiet or is StreamYard taking ages to catch up with the uh, tube review? I have noticed that StreamYard and YouTube seem to lag behind each other. There we go. We've got 40 quid. We've got 27.99. I have no idea. Oh, no. So that's only a tenner. Oh, this is devastated. 12.50. That's no good to me, that. Oh, dear me. But then here we got that's Wool Tweed. See, somebody's listed one there for 24.95. So listed 19.99. Shipping. 20 quid plus shipping. Oh well, I'll put it on for 24.99, but yeah. Not not impressed there with the um the solds, but again, there's not actually a huge amount listed either. There's only 10 listed currently, so um I'll try it at 24.99. It could again just be the the time of year on that because it's the middle of summer. Nobody wants to wear a wool blazer. In fact, I might just have a quick look on Terra Peak and um, see what we can fetch up there. Because uh, I'm not happy with. Uh, with that kind of value, uh, I, I'm expecting much better from my uh, Marsh and Spencer's blazers. Do, 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 do. Oh, one sale on Terra Peak, 974 in the last 12 months. Go away, Terra Peak, you've annoyed me. I thought it would have been better, yeah. Uh, it's going to go on for 24 99 anyway. Um, but, uh, yeah, disappointing uh, in that, but perhaps I will get um, a decent price for it. If not, it'll go on for about a tenner plus shipping just to get rid of it on auction. Um, right. Next item. Hey, Jesse. Yeah, that's Terra Peak. Um, Terra Peak is not my friend now. Um, next, I picked it up because it was only three quid. And it's quite funny that I said next because this is a next blazer, um, which I don't, I know they're not as good as um, um, Marks and Spencer's blazers. Um, but it was three quid, and I picked it up because it's Super 100 certified by Woolmark, so it's a nice, hang on, nice wool blazer. Um, next Italia, it's only a 36 Ardo, so I'm not even sure that's a lady, but is it 36 R? That's a small size, isn't it? I assume 36 R still is a men's size and not a lady's size. But yeah, we'll, we'll have a look for the next Italia blazer. Um, to do. Um, 14. I, I would go, I reckon it's going to be about 15, to be honest, um, San and Heron, but we'll have a, we'll have a look. Oh, that's a suit, that's a blazer. And... So that's 18.99 plus shipping, 18.25 plus shipping. Well, I might get 19.99 out of it then. Yeah, I'll go... Uh, I'll put it on for 19.99 and we'll see where we end up. 
Um, it's not the best size, to be honest, but three quid. Learn about something new. I don't mind paying that. 15, yeah, 1999, yeah. Making pancake batter. Is it? Are you having pancakes for breakfast then, uh, DBG? Um, so, yeah, that's all right. Happy enough with that. Um, then we got I paid up a bit for these considering it was a £3 sale on these weren't included uh, North Face high vent trousers cost me £5.50 Yeah, I think it's five fifty. Yeah, five pound fifty. And I thought North Face, that's a really good brand. And these are like waterproof trousers. So they've got to have there must be money in those. There must be. You know, they've got to be at least twenty, thirty quid maybe. Um but feel free to guess the price, folks. Don't rely on my guessing because I know nothing. Um, and while you're all guessing the price, we'll get the screen share back on. Jason's gone thirty-four ninety-nine there. That would be nice if it is. No face. High vent trousers. Um, Thirty-five forty quid. Yeah, I wear North Face, so they must be a good brand if I wear them. Ski trousers, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, didn't think of that. But, yeah, you're right. Uh, they are. Um, ski trousers, 50 quid. 40, 50 quid. Oh, my. OMG, as the kids nowadays say, 45 quid plus shipping. Size medium, which is what I've got. 40 quid plus shipping. Forty-four ninety-nine then, boom. Yes, I am the best clothing seller ever. Boom, boom. North Face, Ivan ski trousers. Thank you for that. Um, Five fifty, forty-four ninety-nine, and thank you, Sue Rider. So yeah, there we go. An idiot sourcing I can still source. Um, right, one more bag to go, folks. Yeah. yeah, nobody buy North Face. It's not worth anything. Um, next, we have this blazer. Guess what this is made from, folks? Just take a guess what this lovely blazer that I paid eight quid for. I paid up for this. Guess what it's made from, folks? Take a guess. Um, yeah. Unbranded. Unbranded blazer, folks. Um, not from any famous band at all. Nothing that you'd, you'd have heard of, but I was prepared to pay eight quid for it. Purely based on what it's made from. Um, not kangaroo leather, not wool. Well, possibly wool, I don't know. Uh, not cashmere, not linen. Um, Thailand heron is spot on. It's a Harris tweed blazer. A nice vintage Harris tweed blazer. I felt it, so I knew what it was. And I looked for that label inside. And as soon as I saw that, I thought, eight quid, I'm having that all day long. Certif certified by the Harris Tweed Authority, 100% pure new wool, hand woven in the Outer Hebrides from 100% wool, Harris Tweed. Yes, now we can overtake Andrew and being a great clothing eBay. So, uh, yeah. 
Let's take a guess what a Harris Tweed blazer goes for. Um, oh, very nice. South London reseller, Diana. Um, vintage Harris Tweed blazer. I think I've got a size on that as well. I think that's a 42 regular. Let's have a look. Yep, that's a 42 regular. To do a 40, 50 quid, 30 to 70, 60 quid. It is unbranded, which um, isn't um, great, but I knew that when I bought it. But if we look at the soles here now, um, we'll fetch this up, three chickens and a half sheep, 60, 75 quid. We look at the soles now, just in 42. I might even just narrow it down to 42R. Uh, 45 results still, so these are selling well. Vintage one there, 99.99, but it's on best offer, best offer. 85 quid there that's an overcoat one uh 70 quid 70 quid um see if we can find one like my sort of design yeah so you're going down to about 40 quid now yeah that's one like i've got 33 plus 450 on bids um so yeah and you go right down to 30 quid, but, you know, some people are putting these things on for 20 quid. Absolutely pointless doing that. Get it as high as you can. Um, Because, you know, you can see the prices you can achieve here. People are getting 70 quid, 80 quid for the Harris Tweed, tweed Blazers. Um, and that's in a, not a common size. I, I, going to list mine for 44.99 and see how we get on so yeah and I, I knew there would be money in that as soon as i saw it um so i was quite happy to pay eight quid for it and then uh oh next no idea if these have got any value at all it's on my list of brands to look out for. Um, pay two quid. And it's these Muddy Fox. Um, so if I can show you the brand. Yeah, there it is. Uh, Muddy Fox cycling trousers. Let's try and get that a bit closer. Are you going to focus in? Yeah, your jokes have gone to part PCP. But yeah, Muddy Fox got the little paw print on it. Uh, size medium, sort of cycling trousers. Uh, cost two quid. As I say, Muddy Fox is, is on my list of brands to look out for. But I don't know if it's worth a huge amount. Um, so bear with me a second and I'll see if I can uh, find that I'll put shorts in uh, cycling trousers what do you reckon folks 12.99 from Richard do we got anything more drink? No, I haven't. Um, you'll have to go in a minute. Twelve ninety nine from Richard. Here we go. Those are new. Used. Yeah. Same pair I've got. 16.99 there 14.95 12.99 oh those are ladies ones 
so yeah we're probably looking around 14.99 for those if was, they would just be fox so yeah i think talent head and spot on there 15 quid So again, from two quid, absolutely fine with that. And then the final item before I head off to Aldi to get some cider. I might be back later doing a live listing if Tommy isn't live. Um, these Adidas um, golf trousers, again, two quid. Uh, got the climber call in. Good size as well because they're a 40, 40 inch waist. Um, so they will sell for a decent price, I think. Um, so, yeah, nice pair of Adidas golf trousers, two quid. What do you reckon, folks? Jason, with the top quality humour there, if washed, will it just be Fox? Um, get the screen share on. So, yeah, nice pair of Adidas golf trousers. Do, 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 do. We've just seen them on scene, so it's probably live later. So, here picked up some of those, did he? 14 quid. Um, I missed the uh, golf trousers then, I wasn't paying attention. Fifteen quid, twenty-two. I've I, I've no idea. Um, those are brand new, so they go for fifty quid, brand new. Um, used forty-five to fifty quid, brand new. Those are twenty-four quid, twenty quid plus postage, eighteen quid plus postage. Those are the same ones I've got there. Um, yeah, they're all going for about. 20 quid mm. i might just because these have gone on bids for 20 just over 20 quid i might list them at 24.99 i'd say how i get on because you can't go up but you can come down in price i always say so we'll list those for 20 quid two quid so i'll go for 24.99 so in Wrexham today i spent um 37.44 is that right i'm sure that isn't right where's he got the 44 from right we're ignoring that i'll do it the old-fashioned way 7 11 plus 6 17 quid 20 quid 25 plus 8 well maybe it is right yeah so about 34 quid i spent in Wrexham today or well, 37 quid is that right 12 yeah 37 quid in Wrexham spent if we ignore the Marks and Spencer's blazer in the listed totals, we've got 225 quid's worth of listed stock there. So again, I hope to touch close to 200 quid on that. But hopefully again, over 100 quid's profit there. So yeah, two days of sourcing. Um, about just under 70 quid spent and over 400 quid's worth of listed value. So really happy there with the um the sourcing again and hopefully i should um get those listed and become a clothing millionaire uh, i'll just catch up on the chat carrie hates lego me too i told you lego was ridiculous maybe she's looking into clothing and decent pickups yeah um definitely it's worth looking into getting a mannequin it's a lot of competition with the clothing um jesse so you've got to be um you've got to pay as little as you can uh in the first place so that you can you know you can afford to take offers on stuff basically because um those prices there that people are getting their photos were really good their listings are really good they put a lot of time and effort into those i won't do anything like that i'll just put mine on the mannequin take a few pictures and bang it on um but i'm quite happy to make you know 10 15 quid profit on stuff that people otherwise might with better pictures might get 20 or 25 quid on because i'd rather list more stuff um 
I'd, I'd basically, I'd rather do volume of listings. Um, I can't be spending an hour or so on a listing. But yeah, some some really good pickups there. So really pleased. Um, right, thanks all for watching, folks. I'm going to head down to Aldi before it shuts to grab some uh, cider. Yeah, don't pay too much in the same place, um, especially when you're learning. Find a one pound rail in the charity shop, buy stuff for a quid. Uh, Manny is the name of my mannequin, but I've got another one, but they sent me the wrong colour. So I need to raise a case um, to say, because I've messaged him to say you've sent me the wrong colour and I've had no reply after three days now. So I'm just going to raise a case to say um, you've sent me an item not described case because, you know, I specifically ordered a black mannequin and I paid an extra quid for a black mannequin. So a point of principle to me, if I wanted a white one, I could have saved money and got a white one. Um, right. Okay. So thanks folks. Thanks for watching. And uh, I might see you later if I decide to go live listing while I'm drunk. No, I have not looked into ladies lingerie. We're not getting into that conversation. And on that note, bye for now folks. See you all later.